Every year on May 25, member states of the African Union observe Africa Freedom Day to reflect on the struggle for independence from colonial powers. This day has been observed on the African continent for the past five decades, with the first being in 1958 in the newly independent West African state of Ghana, where one of the most proponents of Pan-Africanism, Kwame Nkrumah, helped his country to gain independence. Since that day, dozens of other African states gained independence from their colonial powers, who were mostly European countries. But five decades later, some African states are still fighting to gain political freedom and basic human rights from their own African leaders. North African countries such as Egypt and Tunisia have recently gained political freedom after overthrowing their leaders, who they said led dictatorial regimes, which denied them of their freedom. Though most people on the African continent may think that the struggle for freedom is over, a critical look at the map reveals that there are two territories that are still fighting for independence. These are the southern part of Sudan, which recently voted to secede from the Republic of Sudan, and it is scheduled to be declared an independent state in July later this year. The second territory is Western Sahara, which is located on the Atlantic coast, and it borders Morocco, Algeria, and Mauritania. In 1975, Spain relinquished its colonial rule on Western Sahara, and Morocco occupied the territory, and today Morocco refuses to grant it independence, forcing the Saharai people to fight the Moroccan occupation forces through the Polisario Front. The African Union, on the other hand, expelled Morocco for its failure to grant independence to the people of Western Sahara.